Hey guys, it's Wonko here. Welcome back to another episode of Wonko Plays Minecraft. So, I'm all alone on the server here, as usual. I did another enchanting run, got a few, couple more shovels just because they're only one diamond apiece. Uh, I combined my two previous shovels to get an efficiency 5 one, used most of that. And, oh, the two that I had last time, the one that was an efficiency and unbreaking, I used it until it had about a pixel left, and now I have three more. So that's very nice. I wish I had that Fortune 3 on a pickaxe. Silk Touch, which is very nice in efficiency, and another Fortune 3 efficiency 4. So everything I wish I'd gotten on pickaxes. Meanwhile, I'm just stuck with these and this so you might be wondering what I used what I could possibly have done that could have used up two practically two unbreaking three shovels I did this so the entirety of my base apart from this small section over here I dug down four blocks because what I've decided I want to do is I want my base to be slightly on the ground when you come into it so the roof will be lower so that you can still see inside the walls which I've also been working on as well so that's a higher than last time um, so yes so as a result of that I have no shortage of dirt still got a shortage of cobblestone though and leaves and spruce wood that's for something I'm planning that I'll get to in the next episode. Uh, plenty of redstone, good, good. So, what we will be doing today is we will be sort of designing the interior of this place. So let me tell you my general thoughts on the plan because I've been thinking about this. So, you come in the entrance, there's a staircase here, and you walk down. And you're in a big room that extends about that far. Or, no, you're in a room. And, right, so my storage room is going to be round the outside. And it's going to go all the way around up here, around the back, and around there. So, to demonstrate it better, oops, probably something like this area or oh, no that's a bit excessive that area imagine this this amount of space here all the way around snaking all the way around the outside that's going to be our storage room so we're going to subdivide that into several several different parts i'm going to miss that the the update's out but matt hasn't updated the server yet so Goodbye, Paxel. But yes, so, that's our plan. So we're going to just design a small section of it. And for that, we're going to need some blocks. So, I'm probably going to go stone brick and um, birch planks. Yeah, my only problem is not having very many birch planks at all. Mm. Or stone brick for that matter. Ooh, obsidian. Oh, add and coal. Good. Obsidian, obsidian. I've got add that in there. And coal goes over in our valuables chest here. We've still got 18 diamonds. Would like to improve on that situation, to be honest. And yes, so I'm going to be right back then. I'm going to go, and I'm going to get uh, some more of these. So, I'll be right back. Let's get some in the pearls. Oh. And I built a farm over there for wheat and carrots, and a little sheep area in here for wool. 
So, yeah, we'll be right back, guys. Ah, yes, and another very nice thing is that I wasn't expecting this. Matt actually came along and he repaired all of this massive damage he did to my nether hub. And he uh, neatened it up, so it looks like a perfect area to put the end of my rail cart system in. So thanks a lot, Matt. Wasn't expecting that. That was very much appreciated. Yeah, why are we walking? Hello everyone, I'm back. Yeah, so I've got a whole bunch of birch logs and oak wood and some stone bricks as well, and a few chests. And it's turning to night. Perfect timing, well, thank you. Oh, come on. Wait, wait, there we go. Okay. So, let's get over there and, uh-oh, oh, that was close. Yeah, we're going to have to do something about that, this, maybe just cover it over. But, design this first section of wall, so, the first step would probably, do, let's just use the pickaxe, take advantage of it whilst we still can. Okay, and dirt, why do we have a hole on us? Not entirely sure, but um, okay, there we go. So, and oh, let's take, and, uh, let's just design a commonplace section of wall right here, right now. Okay, so what's going to be our chest arrangement now? You could have them, probably want to put them like that going back into the wall. So we can maximise the amount of space, but that means we need space above it. So we're going to need a crafting table. And we're going to need to make some of these. One, two, three, four, five. These are going to be awkward to place. Uh, okay. So, if we want to arrange our chest in a formation to maximize efficiency, we're going to want one there. One there. Let's make it three layers high, and let's instead. Ooh, sorry. Yeah, let's just for the model. Let's only make it one deep. Right. Okay, and we put the roof at this level here, so reaching out across. And above each chest, we have an item frame that st states the contents of that chest. So, probably want that there as well. So, that pattern tessellated across. Okay, so if we interspace it with that, and then we have a section that long, so we're going to need one more 
chest there. There we go, that means nine chests per section. Each of them have a space above them, or no, it's going to be ten, including the ones below. Should really have come more prepared for this. Item frame above each one, and they'll be too deep, so that will be plenty of space. So we could devote one of these to raw materials, so cobblestone, dirt, gravel, sand, things like that. Okay, so, which means we're going to want, probably going to want, to put these things in first. Like that, and because if we put these stairs in like this, oops, if we put stairs in like this, it doesn't count as a solid block, so we should be able to still open chests if there's a block above them. Uh, ooh. Um, how are we doing this? Those three spaces should have chests in them. So yeah, they can still be opened through that thing. It looks like a solid block, but it's not. Then we take those two out. This is going to be as hard to build as it is to design, isn't it? Okay, harder even, because you've got to get all this placement of these blocks. Right, like that. Um, is it me or does that look a bit strange? Just a little bit. Let's try putting them to there like that. Still seems to look a bit strange, like that line's increased, but oh well. Ah. Problem with that is you can't open these two chests from there, so we put these chests extending out like that. Right? And then. Uh, this is all going to be really cheerful, isn't it? All these tedious blocks. Oh, ooh. We don't really need to go for neatness here, though, do we? Ch chest. Yeah. Um, we, we won't, this is going to be a pain to create. That's going to be the opposite way around. So we'll imagine that we're going to have to take the back out, because it looks like dirt and that looks horrible. Replace it with something else. Repair up the wall. Right, so I'm just going to come up with a bit of a design for this whole thing. Would you please stop it, block? Okay, so see you in a second.
Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, as you can see, I've been working on a bit of a design here that I think I like. So, we have these walls with checkerboxed chests, like this, and the divider of each section is made in logs. Now, I'm thinking I might change these to spruce logs, or not, yeah, well, yeah, spruce logs, I, I still don't know all the names. Change these to um, spruce logs for better contrast. I put these lamps in the middle here because this one in the middle of each section is enough to illuminate the entire thing. Uh, in order to uh, isolate each section, I put some of these in and crafting benches, both because they're useful and because they're a different colour. They stick out from this, so you've got a nice clear division between each mini section and then um, right uh, doorways out of this area with oh and on this side I've got a stripe system going down let's look at potential ideas let's look at this so obviously the chest won't open, but how does that look? No, nah, I, I don't like that. It looks too disjointed because the chests are in the way. But right, so anytime you have to leave this area through a hallway, you keep the same design going on, but you just put a three by three hole in the middle. That looks quite distinctive, it looks really messy when around all of this, these other things but I'm sure it will and I'm sure it will look better when we actually have built these what is up with these items? I hate that and you just test like this all the way around and then we'll have to figure out something for each of the corners so this is basically my idea. So this is what we're going to build. And on top here, which will be at this height when compared to that wall, this is still... Oh no. No, no, no. Hurry. Sleep before snow falls everywhere. <sighs> One other thing I'm going to do. I am going to smelt stacks and stacks and stacks of glass and I'm gonna go up to the height cap and I'm just gonna build a glass thing that's the same size and shape as my castle so no snow falls on my castle oh well glad I didn't go any further that time on top of here then we've also got a nice distinctive pathway going around and over the rest of the area that except this extends the entirety of the castle you've got another layer that's slightly above the previous one except this one's all on one layer and it's going to be grass and farmland and things like that and then in the middle at the back probably we're going to have a castle sticking up from that so that is our plan at this point and I to be honest I'm excited except I'm going to need a huge number of materials in order to pull this off. I mean, these chests alone were like a stack of logs, or half a stack of logs, or something ridiculous like that. And we've got a lot left to do, so I'd like to thank you for watching. Now, before we end, I'm going to do one more very special thing, because you may have noticed the upload date of this video is December 21st. 2012. That's right, the world is ending today. Woohoo. Right, so in order to be ready for the apocalypse, we are going to build ourselves a safe room. Just a quick little one. Enough, you know, enough to survive a nuclear apocalypse or a zombie apocalypse. Not that there's any shortage of zombies already in this game, but, yeah.
for those of you who are wondering, yes, this was an absolute pain to mine. Out, and we'll be to mine out again as soon as the apocalypse is over. Assuming we survive, of course. There might be some... Um... Obsidian piercing rounds things. Ooh, we could probably build a portal. No, it's not high enough for that. And we are going to need to go over here. Get some iron. Make a door. Don't have a way to open that. We don't want a way to open that on the outside. Zombies might get in. Yeah, zombies, because of the apocalypse, maybe that's what's going to happen. They're going to miraculously learn how to open doors and pull levers. Ooh, that wouldn't be good. So we're going to hide away, safe inside. We think actually we better better cover up the door just to be safe because everyone's shouting the world's gonna end and everyone can't be wrong right right that many people can't be wrong anyway now we're in our extremely cramped safe room goodbye guys waiting here for the end so long and thank you mm -hmm.